Hello people, welcome to LES Matters with Florence Ajala. Today, I'm going to be discussing the practical ways parents, guidance, or practitioners could develop independent learning skills in young children. So what do I mean by independent learning skills? Independent learning skills are the skills that young children will need to solve a problem or experience a situation or a challenge. I believe as parents, guidance and practitioners, it is very important that you help young children to develop independent learning skills because this group of children will be needing to use these skills later on in life. So I'm going to list practical ways parents, guidance and practitioners could help young children to develop independent learning skills. So the first is, parents could encourage young children to tie their shoelaces. I know young children of such age from back to six years, it is sometimes difficult and challenging for them to tie their shoelaces. So I would encourage parents, guidance and practitioners to encourage this group of children to tie their shoelaces. Another way could be encouraging children to wear their shoes, to wear their socks, okay? Maybe to button their clothes or zip their clothes. And another way could be during nighttime, okay, when children want to go to bed, you can encourage them to put on their PJs, okay? So another way could be maybe parents, practitioners, and guidance asking children to tidy up after themselves. In the morning, maybe after their breakfast, after their lunch and dinner as well, you could ask your child or your children in your setting to tidy up after themselves, okay? So another way could be simple thing. If you're a parent, you want to go out shopping with your child, you can encourage your child to wear their coats, okay? Another way could be maybe if you're cooking, you're a parent, you're cooking, you can ask your child maybe perhaps to bring a spoon for you. If you need a spoon, you can ask them, oh, can you go over to the kitchen area and get me a spoon? Okay, it could be simple thing as getting you milk, milk in the fridge, okay, or asking your, your, your child to get you butter in the, free, in the fridge. So it is very important. I'm going to encourage parents, guidance, and practitioners to help to develop learning skills in this group of children. And one thing I'm going to say to you is, timing is very important, okay? So if you want to develop learning skills in this group of children, okay, you need to give the time. Let's say, for example, now you want a child to tie their shoelaces, a young child to do that. It's going to require time, okay? You don't expect a child that is just starting for the first time to have their shoelace tied in just one second, okay? So you need to create that time. For example, if you're going out shopping, you need to give a time. Maybe your shopping is 2 o'clock. You need to give a time like, oh, before 2 o'clock, before, you know, you need to make sure the child have their shoelaces tied. So you're giving time ahead. And one thing I'm going to say to you is, as you're encouraging your child to use their independent learning skills try to give positive reinforcement try to encourage the child try to give positive feedback to the child so that the child will know that yes at least they are trying in relation to using their independent learning skills so for example if you have a child well able to tie their shoelaces you can just say to the child oh mary very good that's a very good attempt you know for the first time you've tried to tie your shoelaces but next time maybe if you try to hold the shoelaces to the to the right or to the left you'll be able to achieve it so it's very important that you give positive feedback to the child as well for example if you have a child that has ever to tidy up you just have to encourage the child and say to the child thank you for helping to tidy up now that's so helpful of you so i'm going to encourage parents and guidance and pra practitioners to help this group of children to develop independent learning skills because this would be needed later on in life thank you for listening and for watching this video and i'll see you next week on the next episode thank you bye